a quick release clamp will look like this. That screws off totally. And this bit has a bit there, and that's to sort of keep that in place there, you know, when you're going like that. So this bit always goes with the sort of groove side towards the fixing thing, the lever. This only fits one way. I can see the groove at the top here, so it fits like that. Because that groove at the top keeps it in place. You know, that's what fits it onto the seat post clamp thing. So, like that. You can see the indent at the top there. I hope. So I'd fit it one way like that, and that'll be at the back, this bit. It doesn't matter what side you fit that, whether it's there or there. So this thing's at the lever. I'll put it in like that. So it's, that's on my right hand side. And screw it up. Keep this lever back while you're doing this. And then Finally, at some point, you go like that, and it will squeeze in. Your seat post tube will probably have a vertical bit here, vertical gap. This only fits one way, like that. I know because this is a bit with the indentation. So, put that, something like that. That's it, really. Just sort of shift it down till it's almost, well, can't go down anymore. Make sure this is loose so that you can get your seat post on. Then tighten this one up. Keep this at the back. And then when you feel you're, you're nearly there, you go like that. That's a bit too tight actually, but it's all right. Here without the seat, you can seat post, you can see, see it squeezing in there. Squeezes in quite a bit. And that's that really. Well that's the way I do it. Too tight. Nearly. A bit too tight still. Still too tight. I'm listening the other side. Yeah. I think that will hold. Does. I think over time they wear it, but I don't know. But this should do me for years, really. Maybe some people will do it that way, you know. But I do it that so I've got that in position. Too tight. Back. That's pretty good. You can get them for like three pound on eBay, three pound to ten pound, you know. But that's how you do it. You can actually put it anywhere, round in a circular that you want. But I think it makes most sense to keep it at the back. And I'm sure that probably, well, in a YouTube video, I saw it. The guy recommended there. It does seem like sort of best practice. 